You Jedi are so predictable, always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. So, what do you want? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Right. Uh -huh. How can I be of further assistance? I know him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. Very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? How can I be of further assistance? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. How can I be... Uh -huh. I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> okay, uh, injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been... If it is a bantha, ha ha, yes, I, I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. In injured? No, mm. of course not. Mm. Why would I have been? Of course. Ah, a Koopa, che Koopa? Gino Mule. Runda di Hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bees ching bala mule. Tonking ba nunotaka che kun ita hodonga. E king kun o ba mule ra che kun. Spimo po dona. Runda di Hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bees ching bala mule. Tonking ba nunotak. Tok ning. Ah. <laughs> Ah. Is there any other information? Okay. 
The Southport Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a Speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities near the Darren mm -hmm. spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Thank Chikun ita hodonga, i kinku no pa mulera chikun. Spimo po donar, runda di hodonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tungki. Jeta ba doana ni di tong. Ka chikun ita hodonga. I king kuno pa mulera chikun. Spimo po donar di hodunga ku hunkabe. Ta kumju stakniki grabu moko. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Odisha po ka chikun ita hodunga. I king kuno pa mulera chikun. Mucho shat pa khat. Well, do I should probably heal. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? Since we're not going to be fighting for a while, why not? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So... Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years. And we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. Uh -huh. How can I be of further assistance? <laughs> okay. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder True. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. How can I be a that blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Of course. Is there any other information? Okay. I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, mm. other than the fact he did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Very well. Oh, 
Koopa? Chair Koopa? Jean. Ah. Uh. 